Now we're going to talk about sign charts. So sine means positive and negative. It doesn't mean like cosine and sine. Sign charts. All right, so let's do this example. Determine the intervals where the function f of x equals x minus 2 over x plus 1 is positive or negative. All right, first of all, we talked before about how to sketch this graph by looking at translations of y equals 1 over x. But um, in some ways, that's, that's a good way to do it, but not always. Not always. But let's just uh, work on this now. So, okay. First of all, I'm going to show you the steps and I'll explain a little bit. Let's just look at the zeros. So the zeros are found by taking this guy and set this equal to zero. And um, to say zeros is maybe not the right thing to say. It's just one zero. And this is a x-intercept. Two zero. And then look at um, vertical asymptotes. Well, vertical asymptotes occur or correspond to numbers that are not in the domain. So if I look at y equals x minus 2 over x plus 1, we set x plus 1 equals 0, and we get x equals negative 1. And that's a vertical asymptote. All right. Now, what happens for a function like this is that it's only going to change from positive to negative when in two cases. So it changes from positive to negative when it passes through the x-axis at an x-intercept. Or, look, suppose this guy is positive. In order, as x changes, for y to go from positive to negative, it has to equal zero. So as we cross over uh, zeros, it could change from positive to negative. But another place it could change is at vertical asymptotes. Let's just go ahead and, and do this problem and, and see where this what's going on then. So here's my, my sign chart. And this is a, a good thing to know for other functions. So here we have a sign chart. And what do we do? A, a sign chart is essentially a, um, a number line. And on this number line, and it's not just for rational functions, other functions, polynomials especially, we could do this for. Um, so, so on the sign chart, what we do is we, we put a dotted line where we have a zero. And that was at x equals two. And I'm having another dotted line at the vertical asymptote, or you could say just a number that's not in the domain, x equals negative one. Okay, so that, I don't know, somehow that symbol doesn't, doesn't look quite right, but x equals two. All right, and then what we do is we just plot points. And when I plot points, um, I pick points, I pick one point from each interval and I try to, you know, sort of pick convenient numbers. I could put like negative 2.3, but it's, it's, it's easier to just put negative 2 in. Okay, and the point is that this is positive. So the sign chart is saying, okay, uh, when is it positive and when is it negative? That's what we mean by sign. Put a big plus if you want. Zero is a convenient number, but one's not so bad either. So, uh, but I put in zero from the next interval. Zero minus two, zero plus one. That makes negative two over one, and that's negative. 
And then over in the next interval, I'll pick three. Maybe it's good to pick like a really big number in the next interval, like a thousand. Um, but anyway, I'm picking three. And that's positive. Okay, what's the point of the sign chart? The sign chart tells us uh, when the function is positive and negative, and then we can also use this to sketch the graph, and we'll do that for another problem.